Hey, this is Paul Inventor 3. Working at the free energy from air circuit again. Uh, you see, I just got that simple circuit right here. And that goes up and out and over to my ground outside. And this one actually is my antenna. And instead of lighting our lights, I've been trying to charge a double A rechargeable battery here, 1.2 volts. And here's my results. Uh, one week. Actually, I started with the battery at 0.535. I didn't deplete the battery completely. I didn't feel like using the time. I just wanted to see if this was going to work. And, uh,. This was, if you see, this is only like one hour later. It went from 0.5 to 0.8, but then things start slowing down. This was either on Sunday or Monday. I forgot to write the day in. But you could see each day, well, not every day, I didn't check it every day, but here's it at the end of one week. And you could see from uh, Friday, yesterday, and today, Saturday, uh, there's no change. It's kind of reached a peak there, a limit. So I don't know if something happened or if that's all we're going to be able to get out of this at this point. But just wanted to show you that. You know what, for the heck of it, let's try this little uh, piezo buzzer here from Radio Shack. Made in Taiwan. <laughs> <laughs> 3 to 16 volt. Let's check that out real quick. Positive. Ah, it's working. <laughs> Stop swinging. Stop swinging. Hold on. <laughs> Sorry. Let's see if we can get the camera here. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Okay, guys. I'll think of some other things here. Alright, it's Sunday. The next day here. I just have to check this battery one more time. See if it uh, ro uh, rose anymore since that 1.077 volt. So... Still had my meter on Hertz. 1.067. Well, seems like it went down a tenth. Huh. We'll definitely have to get some more energy going there. Alright, so. It did not go up. That's about its limit, 1.077. Okay, let's see what our frequency is, our incoming frequency off the antenna is. Okay, let's turn our meter on. Okay, now let's connect our wires. Okay. This green wire here is our antenna. The yellow one is just holding it uh, taut. And it goes up our pole. So let's hook that up. Make our positive lead. Let's hook that together. And we'll just kind of 
let that hang there. It's not touching the fence or anything. Okay, now let's take our negative. Now I noticed I get all different readings depending if you hook this to the fence. Get 0.219 kilohertz fluctuates. Let's see, what if I just stick it in the earth ground? Okay. But I gotta think about this. Um, but since our circuit is going to be connected to this ground, I would think that's our reading that we want. Uh, that was... <laughs> I just connected that a minute ago off camera and that was at like around 240 kilovolts. Taking it, taking the ground off, put it back on. Huh. Let's, uh, let's pull my antenna wire out a little bit. I don't know. No, we don't want to touch that. It's really changing the readings. All right. <laughs> it's about average of uh, now. If you go point 120 kilohertz, uh, without doing the math, isn't that 120 hertz? What's <laughs> coming out of the wall? Uh, hang on. I'll, I'll wait. Let's see. Let's turn this off. Turn this back on. All right, all right, well, I believe this is the result. 240, 250 kilohertz. Um, yeah, I can't just switch my ground from the fence to here to there. Uh, I need to turn it on and off each time I connect it and disconnect it to another location. So, that's going up. It varies a little bit. Oh, that's a little higher. Well, let's say 250 kilohertz. Hmm. I need to steady that out.